The year is 1969. The world holds its breath. Hundreds of millions watch their televisions. A grainy image flickers. On the screen, a man in a bulky white suit descends a ladder. He pauses. Then, Neil Armstrong, commander of Apollo 11, steps onto the lunar surface. That's one small step for man, he utters. One giant leap for mankind. Armstrong's words echo through history. They mark a pivotal moment in human exploration. For the first time, humankind has walked on another celestial body. The Earth erupts in celebration. People dance in the streets. Tears of joy stream down faces. Strangers embrace united by this shared triumph. This singular event transcends national borders. It is a victory not just for America, but for all humanity. It ignites a spark of wonder, a thirst for knowledge, and a desire to explore the cosmos. The moon landing serves as a powerful reminder of what we can achieve when we dare to dream big. From that day forward, humanity sees itself differently. We are explorers, adventurers, pioneers, we are a species capable of extraordinary things. The moon landing is a testament to the power of human ingenuity, courage and collaboration. It is a legacy that continues to inspire generations to reach for the stars. The journey to the moon began years earlier, spurred by a challenge issued by President John F. Kennedy. In 1961, Kennedy stood before Congress. He declared a bold vision for America, to land a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth before the decade's end. This goal seemed audacious, even impossible at the time. NASA was in its infancy. Spaceflight was still in its early stages. The technology needed for such a mission did not yet exist. But Kennedy's words ignited a national spirit. They galvanized the nation behind a common goal. Scientists, engineers and technicians poured their hearts and minds into the endeavor. Countless hours were spent designing, building and testing. Failures were met with renewed determination. The entire nation rallied behind the space program, eager to witness history in the making. This ambitious undertaking was not without its critics. Some questioned the cost of the Apollo program. Others argued that the resources could be better spent elsewhere. But Kennedy understood the profound significance of space exploration. He recognized that it was not just about reaching the moon, but about pushing the boundaries of human potential. The Apollo program was a testament to human ingenuity. It demanded groundbreaking advancements in engineering and technology. One of the most remarkable feats was the development of the Apollo guidance computer. This marvel of miniaturization was far ahead of its time. This computer, compact enough to fit on board the spacecraft, provided navigation and control. It allowed astronauts to calculate their trajectory, steer the spacecraft, and monitor critical systems. It was a technological leap that paved the way for modern computing. Equally impressive was the Saturn V rocket. This colossal machine, the most powerful ever built, stood over 36 stories tall. It generated an astounding 7.5 million pounds of thrust, propelling the Apollo spacecraft into Earth's orbit and beyond. The Saturn V was a symphony of engineering precision. Its five massive engines ignited in a thunderous roar that could be felt for miles. The rocket lifted slowly at first, then with increasing speed, carrying the dreams of a nation on its shoulders. It was a sight that left spectators awestruck, a symbol of human ambition reaching for the heavens. Section 4, the eagle has landed, a tense descent and a sigh of relief. In this historic moment, Humanity took its first steps on the lunar surface. The footprints left behind were not just physical marks on the moon's dusty terrain, but also indelible imprints on the pages of history. With each step, the astronauts carried the hopes and dreams of people back on Earth, forever changing our perspective on what is possible.